Well, tomorrow, the funniest movie I have seen in eight years opens. It's called The Naked Gun, and it's from Zucker, Abrams, and Zucker, the certifiable lunatics who gave us Airplane and Ruthless People. It's a continuation of the 1982 ABC comedy with Leslie Nielsen called Police Squad. That lasted less than a month. Everything should have said, this is going to be the greatest, funniest television series of all time, four episodes, and zap. What happened? Uh, well, it was four that they showed in a row, but there was actually six episodes. Uh, everybody, including the powers that be at Paramount, uh, you know, people were coming up and saying, how does it, before we're even on the air, say, well, how does it feel to be on a hit? And I'm saying, oh boy, I can't believe this. And we all of us thought it would be a hit. Even when we had a kind of a screening in the screening room when people came to watch the episodes, they were on the floor, they're laughing so hard. And so we knew that we were going to have a hit. Then it got on the air, on the small screen TV, and it was nothing more, I think, than the medium itself. It was being shown in the wrong place because we don't really pay attention to television, and it's the kind of humor that you must concentrate on and pay attention to. So people who might say they're gonna take a failed television show and make a full-length feature, feature film out of it, yeah. they're nuts, they're not nuts. Oh, no, they're not nuts yeah. at all. What well, you saw the film. Yeah. Do you think they're nuts? No, not at all. Oh, I think they're nuts. Yeah, well, they are nuts. <laughs> well, I mean, if you put it that way, they're yeah. nuts. Did you follow all that? <laughs> we'll have more with Leslie Nielsen and Priscilla Presley, stars of The Naked Gun, tonight at 10. Today at 5, Raquel Welch. And do you think the ladies in St. Louis are attractive? Playboy magazine thinks so, and we will show you at 5. Thank you, JC. We'll see you next week.